Chris Gilmore here on YouTube. Um, we do these on uh, freedomcarboard.com a lot <coughs> uh, on the Facebook page. Uh, right now, we are going to do this on YouTube. You gotta just, I've never used the YouTube Live and I wanted to use it. Anyway, what we do is we have this big flat rate box <coughs> and we fill it full of goodies. And uh, <coughs> we all go through it and um, take out cards we like, add in cards that we think the next person will like. So. This flat rate box has been through about, uh, probably about 10 people so far. This is a, uh, something originated by our good buddy on the board, Steve Areno. No, he is not from Reno, Nevada. It's just Steve Areno. Kind of because it sounds cool, I guess. You'll have to ask Steve. Steve. Steve is a original member of FreedomCardboard.com. Which I will encourage you to check out. FreedomCardboard.com is a great website for sports cards. Holy moly. There's a lot of stuff in here. Now, not all of them are going to be gems. Uh, it's just, you know, some of it's little quirky items that someone will like. Oh, we have a damaged slab here. It's Bowman's best edge rookie. The slab got real dinged up. It was a nine. We have a big cat tops traded PSA 8. This will probably be on my short list. Uh, I really appreciate it. Whoa, it's, a, oh, it's just a traded. <clears throat> I thought it was Tiffany when I looked at the back. So, yeah. Andres Galarraga and PSA 8. Got a lot of love for the big cat. Oh, wow. This box really got manhandled, guys. This AJ Burnett <clears throat> got smashed. Casualty of War. Oh. This would have been another one. Eh. I might take it anyway and get it re-slabbed. It's a big cat. See the damage there? Ah, oh, these slabs didn't hold up too well. The Chipper uh, 2004 Bazooka. Who grades these? Who grades these? I don't know. I don't know. I hope that uh, you got a really good PSA deal uh, when you, whoever graded that. I'm going to put the uh, <coughs> damaged slabs in a pile. <coughs> BCCG uh, Tops 2007 Tops Walmart Chase Utley. I don't know the story behind those. I'll check them out. Advanced Grading Barry Bond. Never heard of that grading company. Nor do I know why someone would grade an encore Barry Bonds. This card was hot back in the day. Hank Blaylock. Oh. <laughs> we have some packs of, what is this, 89 Tops Big? 88 tops big. Some packs of 88 tops big. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick like three of these packs because they're cool and I want to open them here on camera. <clears throat> um, like I said, this is all just odds and ends stuff. A little, little quirky stuff. There's a Wayno chip. Mauer, Blanton, a Bintendi coin. These, these are the coins that came with, I think, uh, archives this year. Bintendi, Trout, Donaldson, Suspedas, Mookie Betts, Josh Donaldson. Ha! Huh. A little Go Sox pin. That's kind of cool. I dig it. I dig it. Whoever put the eyeballs in there, I dig it. I don't know who put them in there, but they're cool. I like them. <clears throat> so far, we have a uh, 86 tops traded Andres Galarraga in PSA 8. And a couple of packs of tops big. Here's a... Uh, oh, this is from the Anaheim National. Um... Nolan Ryan from ETOPS. Nolan Ryan, Mr. No Hitter. Roger Maris there. 
For the case, I'm going to take it out of the uh, top loader because the top loader is yellowed. Tom Seaver Sweet Spot Classics jersey. <clears throat> A pack of uh, the Breast Cancer Awareness cards. Oh, here's a Chinming Chin Wong Ruby from uh, 06 Upper Deck, number to 50. Uh, if anybody's player, player collecting Japanese players for Chinming Wong, that'll be pretty cool. Those are not easy to come by. <clears throat> Drew Pomeranz jersey, a uh, Clemente, Clemente Tallboy remake. Here's a, just, just a Nick Johnson jersey. Wow. All right, let's, we have this box here. Let me clear some space real quick. <clears throat> see what's in this box. Ooh, see some thick stuff in here. There's a jacket from Kingpin, worn by Woody Harrelson in the movie Kingpin. That was a hilarious movie. Uh, John Smoltz commemorative patch. This goes on the list of things that I want to pull out. John Smoltz is my dude. <clears throat> Stadium seat, Frank Robinson. Some Jeter base cards, some T.O., whoever that is, oh, here's a cool little Jeter parallel, absolute, uh, let's see, <clears throat> Into some old rookie autos. I don't think any of them are. Sean Gil Martin, former Braves draft pick. He's no longer with the Braves, or I'd snag it, but he uh, has moved on. Colin Barrel still. There's a bunch of old, bunch of old Bowman products of uh, guys that didn't pan out. Uh, Garrett Gould, one time, I, I thought this guy was going to be huge. He has a, he had a huge curveball. Uh, I like Brian Mitchell, too, as a prospect. Uh, another miss of mine. Lucas Sims base card there. I don't really do base cards because I don't like clutter. I'm to, I've been trying to declutter a lot of things. The Matt Cain Turkey Red Rookie. I know there's some Matt Cain collectors out there. You know, a guy not a superstar, but um, did some good things Good things out there for the Giants. So he still has a collector base, a following. Let me move my magic cards here. Yeah. I play a nerdy, nerdy kids game. Oh, here's some of the uh, 87 Tops All-Stars. Not the actual 87, the, the, the reprints from... This year says top one's a Hank, nice Hank Aaron. Hosmer, Betts, Jones, Ichiro, Jacoby Jones. Hey, here's one. This will be on my list to snag. My dude, Dansby Swanson. Love me some Dansby Swanson. I think the kid's going to have a great year next year. There's an 86 Tops All, an actual 86 all, Tops All-Star Tony Gwynn. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Underrated hitter, Jeremy Burnett's rookie. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Some of this stuff's bringing back memories now. Sandy Alomar Jr. Remember this from 89 Donruss? Ah, and the coolest cards ever invented. Of course, I'm talking about sports flicks. Sports flicks were the bomb. Some Michael Jack Schmidt 
from 87 Sport Flicks. The, uh, some of the 86 tops, Pete Rose. Pete Rose! Nice haircut, buddy. Some 86 top stars. Wynn Smith. Now, how many times do you see this card and it not be Mark McGuire? Something from this set and it not be Mark McGuire. <laughs> so used to seeing Mark McGuire in that set that when I flipped that card, I was like, hey, it's a Mark McGuire. No, it's not. Uh, Devon White rediscovered top. A bunch of rediscovered tops here. Some with the copper, some with the gold, some with the silver. Uh, Chris Hammond. Boy from near my hometown. I'll be snagging that one. Chris Hammond's a friend of my dad's. So uh, I snag uh, Chris Hammond stuff. Oh, here's a... This is a, this is a cool card. Tops Archives, 2015. This is the Derek Jeter, number 99. Cool little card. Leave that in there for some Yankee fan. Some more Derek Jeter stuff from the archives. The Yankee captain. Um, I didn't know Jeter had a lot of the haters he has. You know, I knew some people did just because of the Yankees, but there are people out there that will seriously try to tell you that Derek Jeter is not a uh, superstar player. And they'll trot out a lot of a lot of numbers and tell you, well, Derek Jeter is far behind other shortstops and a defensive liability. As you go, defensive li pushes up glasses. Derek Jeter is a defensive liability. Tips for Dora. I, that's just the way I see it, you know. Um, I wish I had had a way to say it and not be offensive, but that's the way you look when you talk about Derek Jeter not being. Uh, not being Derek Jeter, not being what he meant to baseball all that time. Let's see. A little Ripken insert from this year's Donruss. Don't know. A lot of the stuff I just don't know what it is. Ha! I still love these, man. Look at this. Senior Smoke. Wah! Senior Smoke. Actually, no, that's a few different players. That's Mike... Oh, yeah, I forgot they did these. Mike Scott, Fernando Valenzuela, or uh, Doc Gooden, Mike Scott, Fernando Valenzuela. That's pretty cool. Oh, and here's the shortstops card. You have Scott Fletcher, Cal Ripken Jr., Tony Fernandez. That's pretty awesome. Love it. There's some throwback stuff in this box. So the, the, the throwback's not lost on me. I love it. Alright. We're done with this box. Let's get it all nice and packed back up so it can go. We're done with this little mini box inside the box. There's still a lot more in this box. This, uh, this Flat Raider is stuffed to the gills with good stuff. And I'm about to put some more good stuff in it. So, yeah. If we can... Yeah, it all fits back down. Alright. On to the next thing. Oh, these were cool box toppers. To the Flare, um... 2003 Flare box toppers. This is Adam Dunn. Jersey. Big, big country, Adam. Big donkey or big country? I can't really call him one of those. Cool. The so Gary Carter. These were out of a retail product that was in Target and stuff like that. It has a piece of authentic patch memorabilia and a ball. Uh, Griffey Collector's Choice. Uh, this looks to be some... Uh, yeah, well... Let's see, Donner Studio, Mark Brunel, where's Hall Dog? Remember Hall Dog from the uh, Beckett Football Boards Moderator? Hall Dog would have loved this. Hall Dog, get in, you can get stuff like this. <laughs> Big Cliff Floyd, no this is not Cliff Floyd dunking a baseball. This kind of feels like a mystery box, you know, people posting up these mystery boxes. 
Masters of the Game, Deion Sanders. This is a another one of those box toppers with Tory Hunter jersey and ball. Delman Young. Oh, these are cool. The uh, 87 M&M stuff. 87 M&M's. Yeah, some cool stuff. Oh, this one's cool. This one's cool. Mike Schmidt and Ryan Sandberg. Also, we have two facial hair all-stars. These guys are, are all-time greats. Now, not Raleigh, Raleigh Fingers, who is the president of facial hair in baseball. I think we can all agree on that. We have Wade Boggs and Jack Morris. Two wonderful facial hair guys. Uh, a uh, small version of Roger Clemens. Someone, I believe that's Colby Clemens. No, it's Roger. He's just really small, so it looks like Colby. Uh, George Brett and Calvert Jr. Uh, a guy who's broke my heart before in Joe Carter and Kirby Puckett. Seriously, just yeah, right in there, man. Joe Carter destroyed me one year. But I'm sure there are some Canadians who uh, love Joe Carter. That's the way it works. Uh, this was the next big thing in the Brave system. Wilson Bedemeet. He was the next big thing at one time. Now we have three more boxes. Lord, this video is going to be two hours long. And you're going to be like, why did I sit through that video? Because you got nothing else to do. Oh, this is cool. And I, I'm going to leave some of this um, off camera so people opening it can, can be surprised about what's in there. Uh, Justin Verlander, patch card, 7 of 9. That's cool. White, Roger Clemens. So, yeah, if you want to get in on this and cool things like this, check us out at freedomcardboard.com. Hit the register button. We'd be glad to have you. Uh, there's pretty much anything you can think of going on. Uh, sometimes it gets gets kind of slow, but you know there's a lot of good people in there doing good, cool things like this. So uh, look forward to it. Love to have you. How do I end this?